Alright fellow YouTubers, Caleb Craig Dimple Toys 1 2 here to bring you a different review on the Kingdom Hearts Play Arts action figure of Sora. Now let's take a look at the box. At the top it says Kingdom Hearts Play Arts action figure with a window box effect through the top. Nicely done in the front you can see it says Kingdom Hearts by Disney and here you can see a nice window view of the actual figure. On the left side you can see the figure through there and you also see where it's a nice little picture of him at the bottom. Right side you can see the window box effect and at the bottom it's just precautions. Then this is how the whole back looks. And here you can see it shows a really nice picture with the background of Sora and there's also Riku and there is King Mickey. Alright so that's a quick look at the box now let's look at the actual accessories and the figure. And here's a little instruction booklet on how to actually connect the hands I'm guessing with the gloves. Alright and here's Sora out of the box I really do like this figure it has a lot of detail which you guys know I'm going to get into. Love the Keyblade man this figure is looking great. So now let's take a closer look at the Keyblade. Alright, and here's the Keyblade. They didn't really use too glossy of a gray on it, but I do like it. It's not like too shiny, it's just a plain silver. And here they put a little bit of blue here at the bottom. The gold looks good. It had a little bit of chipping right here, but it doesn't look that bad. It looks like they put a little bit of a grip here, and it doesn't look that bad to me. I love how there's a hole in there, which one of the hands he comes with does have a peg in it, so that helps out a lot, and I'm going to show you that. Here on the bottom, it actually looks like they put a little keychain on here which is awesome. I'm not going to take this off. So as you can see, that can be taken off and on the bottom is mini. This is made out of like a really light plastic, so that's not metal, but it still looks really cool and it looks very nice. Now, if you actually stick it onto the keyblade, it actually does have a hole in there, but it's easier to do it if you take the glove off first. So you just take it and it's good to tilt it and when you tilt it, make sure you line up the hole with it and then stick it in there. And when you push down, and the actual peg is through there, it's not going anywhere, and then you can reconnect it to them, which is really cool. Now, what I have found out is that it is, it's easy to pop them off, but to actually put the hand back in there, you really have to hold it firmly, kind of grab the top of the elbow, and twist it in, and then it'll be in. And once it's in, it's not going anywhere. So I do like that effect, and I love it whenever they have a figure with the small peg, so it's easier for him to hold his blade, because that blade's not going anywhere. So I love that effect on it. And now let's talk about the rest of the hands that he actually comes with. So of course, first here, he does have his key blade holding hand, and he also has his fist hand here, which you can see it's just a perfectly firm fist, and they did put a lot of detail into his gloves, and I'm going to look at the gloves a little bit later. But there's the fist hand. And the last one is that on the other side, he actually does come with this what looks like kind of a grip hand. And with this grip hand, it looks like a finger sticking out. Like It looks like he would actually hold a uh, gun, but I'm not quite sure what this hand is for because it's perfectly made for the keyblade. Or I'm guessing this can hold the keyblade hand, I'm guessing. Yeah, on this one I really tried. I actually took the hand off and I'm trying to get it to wrap around. But through here, these don't really bend like they're rock hard. So you can't really get the keyblade for it to hold that hand. Now, after this figure, I would also like a Roxas. And I am going to get into the detail, but it's one huge part that really got on my nerves. Uh, I bought this off of eBay and whoever gave it to me said this was new and in the box. And I'm guessing it is new or it's really old, but a part of it was rusty, which I'll show you right here. As you can see, he does come and he has a necklace on, but the necklace is like really, really dirty and brown in there. It's completely rusty, and it looks like it's done moved around here on the top, so that made that look kind of nasty too. So it's just looking really rusty, and in the hair, there's a few little particles of rust and stuff, which I brushed off a lot of it before I started my review. So I do not know what they did or how this rusted out, but that is the only really huge disappointment that I do not like about this figure. As far as the head skull comes out, I do like it. They nailed the eyes, looks just like from the video game. So that looks very good. His face does look like him. I do like they went with the skin tone where his flesh is really light. That does look very nice. And sadly here, the hair is a very nice color. I do like the shade of brown, the dark brown and the light brown or lightish yellowish brown they put in there. But of course, it's accompanied by a little bit of the rust from the necklace. But past that, it does look really good. And they did an awesome job on the hair. They nailed it, and it does look like how he had it on the show. Well, on the video game, sorry. And a quick look at the back of it, so it just was really good sculpted detail. Back more of kind of a disappointment. They did put a lot of detail into the back part of his hoodie. And this really does look good, but you can see some rust marks even here at the bottom on the edges messing up the paint but past that the paint does look really good except for here as you can see here they actually messed up some and some of the white is bleeding onto the is that like a grayish blue color and they did have a little bit of wrinkles there 
I do like the way they did his outfit in the video game, and they didn't disappoint here on the figure. It is cool how his jacket had the white and the grayish blue, and it is really cool how it went to the black and there was a zipper, and that zipper can't align. That's just some of the articulation showing, so that looks very nice. You see here at the belt, they did an awesome job on that too, and the belt's like a blue color. I love how they even gave it the illusion of how he had it where it looked like it was sagging a little bit, so that looks very good. Right here on the side, it's really cool how he has his King of Hearts chains that goes to the back, and you can actually see in the visual king little symbols in there so here you can see the white paint is just a tad sloppy on his pants now what i really love are his shoes a little bit of rust here but i love the articulation they gave his feet on this figure and this gives me hope that they really could have made a sonic the hedgehog figure but the articulation they did on these is really good and as you can see they did an awesome job on the paint job you even see a little bit of orange lining in there you see the gray and the black and it's not bleeding too hard a few scratches but that's not from the actual people that made it and they even included this blue here on the side so i do like how these turned out as you can see here, they did put wrinkles in the side of his shirt. Those do look nice, very discreet. Here, the paint's not bleeding as much. And as you can see, as we go down, here's the awesome job they did on the actual gloves. The glove looks very good. I do like how that came out. And as you can see, they actually have it where you see the silver, you see the blue. It doesn't look sloppy. It looks just like how it was in the game. Except for at the top, it just looks a little bit dirty. But past that, it's a very nice hand sculpt that they did. Just a little difference I noticed is that right here, on the glove where he connects the glove the actual hand is actually kind of orange compared to the rest of the flesh tone like this which also on the face is actually pale but here it's like kind of an orangish color so they put an orange tint on the actual hands all the tan all the hands have that orange tint all right now let's get into some articulation the best part which to me on this figure is the shoes is that how it works basically he has these huge feet the articulation they gave him in the feet is basically he can move like so so this can move here and here if you want the foot to move up and down so it can move down about that much go up about that one now i love when they give it kind of a pivot the pivot they give it is like this it looks like that's the actual size that his real foot would be so that looks awesome this whole part can pivot around so it doesn't stop them from getting some pretty epic poses i do like that so they did an awesome job on that and you do have the twist there so that's pretty much a lot of range of motion that i would want in the feet they did an awesome job on that with the legs you actually can bend them but what they did that was smart is that you can bend them at the back so they bend like so the front looks a little weird, and I was wondering if how would they do that articulation, but they just made it where the leg could go back. Now, as far as going forward, the leg can actually only come about that far, and then it gets really stiff. So it can't go that far forward, and as you can see, it can't go that far back either. That far back, and then it stopped like kind of here where it looks like the top of the leg meets the bottom, so it's not going to go that far. Then here, you do get a swivel where you can turn. Here at the top, well, kind of mid chest, which is pretty cool. And there is a little bit of an ab crunch, as you can see here. So he does have a bit of an ab crunch here that goes right there at that mid, at that top waist that I showed, or like right below the chest. Now, in the arms, he actually can bend them out. They can go that far out. He can bring them down. They can go completely around. You know what? I kind of have that thing where I'm like, what if he ever came alive and his arm would be dislocated? So I put it back. It's kind of stupid, but uh, also he can bend them like like so. It does come a little bit past a right degree angle, and it actually is no articulation in the wrist. So you can't pop the wrist, but of course you can twist the wrist where you actually... Well, nope, you can't really twist the wrist either. But the whole... If you try to twist the wrist, the whole hand is going to move because they fit so stiff in there, and it is a little hard to get them in, which is why I have to twist the hands in. Now as far as... Oh, and, oh yeah, and it can go... His arm can go out this far and this far in. Now with the head, we're not getting really any articulation here. It can't go that far down at all. Can't look that far up. Pretty much it just stays in place. And you can turn it side to side. But I can't turn mine that much because of the rust from the necklace. Rubs onto his neck even more. And I don't want to break the actual little symbol of the king that he has around his neck. Because it's stuck there. I can't really move it because of how the rust is. So that's pretty much the articulation of the figure. Now the only thing I can't really do much with all the pivoting that this foot gets because you can't really spread out the legs. These legs cannot really spread out that far so you can't use the ankle pivot to its full potential but it still is really cool and I do love how they have it. Very good figure. Uh, if you buy one just check it make sure there's no rust and I 
ordered it and I think I had it for like two weeks and I just assumed that it looked good and I didn't notice this till I took it out the box. So just watch the people on eBay. But past that, I really just got it because it would be a great display piece. It looks awesome. I love the person he was. He was very positive. So he was an awesome character. So past that, I do love the rest of the stuff about the figure and this has been my review of it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.